uh, it has been uh, a, a, such an extraordinarily challenging year on many levels. But it does make you question the way that you do stuff. And actually, it seems like a quite straightforward thing to extend the eliminations. It means that um, what we can do is we can encourage uh, people to come to Blackpool kind of in a slightly safer way. We can say, listen, it's on right the way through the autumn and winter. You don't all need to um, rush in the first two or three weeks because that's obviously the most important thing is, yes, it's incredible. The Illuminations is, is still happening. It's great and it wouldn't be if it wasn't for the um, uh, support that we get from the community and support we get very much from the council. Uh, but obviously it's something that needs to be enjoyed safely. Uh, obviously the, the story of the year and most like the decade and possibly the century is coronavirus. How are you honouring the key workers and the NHS heroes that have got us through the pandemic? Um, I mean, it has been such a weird year. I mean, this time last year, I had a, such a long list of new illuminations that we were uh, planning for, for, for launch now, none of which we are doing, none of which we can do for a whole variety of reasons. What we're doing instead is kind of clearing the decks and ensuring that the illuminations of 2020 reflect this extraordinary situation. Um, uh, so we've created a, um, a new illumination called Corona Heroes, um, which is absolutely all about um, the, the people that have been uh, giving so much to lead the fight against coronavirus. Um, uh, the idea has been to, to get nominations, and we've been inundated uh, with people wanting to nominate um, uh, key workers, NHS workers, um, all of whom have given so much on our behalf. Um, and we will be choosing 50 to become the, um, the kind of like the patron saints, to become the pantheon um, for all of the other hundreds of thousands of key workers and NHS workers. They, they become the, 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 the symbolic um, representatives, if you like. But it's very difficult to choose. I mean, incredibly difficult to choose because these, these nominations are couched in such extraordinarily powerful uh, emotional language, you know, the, the gratitude, um, the uh, uh, just just how extraordinarily impressed people are that um, we we've had, you know, huge sections of the community that have given up so much to keep us safe, um, and it's wonderful with something like the Illuminations that we can we can you know move quickly creatively we can now with a lot of the the technological advances that we've got we can create an illumination um not quite overnight but certainly at very very short notice which means that we can enshrine the fight against coronavirus at the very heart of the illuminations and what i want what i'd love now is for everyone who comes to the illuminations to revive the clap you know it'd be lovely the idea that they're driving underneath this this um, uh, coronavirus heroes and you know for goodness sake clap in the car obviously safety first so keep steering at the same time and obviously something that unfortunately may have been overshadowed this year but pardon the pun you're shining a light on mm. is the celebration of the 75th anniversary of ve day so what are we doing to celebrate that yeah i mean um i think that the 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 fact that um, uh, the 75th anniversary of VE Day happened in the middle of the corona, you know, in the middle of lockdown, um, was um, in many ways very, very powerful because it happened to all of us at a time when we were suddenly forced to re-engage what was very important to us. We were, you know, being forced to spend time at home with our family. It wasn't about the distractions of social life or work. Um, actually, it was really just about getting back to basics. And of course, we had the Queen's speech in the midst of that. And she, she, she spoke so, so eloquently and so powerfully about uh, uh, the relationship with our society now to um, the society to our forebears who, who, you know, who finished the Second World War. Um, and we wanted to ensure that there was a really big part of that. Um, so we've got ourselves a big shiny Spitfire, as you do. Um, and that big shiny Spitfire is going to be right in the middle of the Gin Roundabout um, and is the uh, epicenter of an extraordinarily moving, very powerful um, uh, laser and light show, uh, which I think is going to really bring that alive. I think it's going to be something that, you know, brings, brings a real lump to your throat. Um, and one of the nice things as well is that we've actually found uh, the, we found photographs of the, the original pilot of that particular Spitfire. Um, and we're currently uh, uh, looking to find sort of uh, uh, closest living relatives uh, that we can maybe integrate for the switch on experience. So, you know, yes, the Illuminations is here. And yes, the Illuminations is doing the job it always always does which is to um you know be that point of light and brightness at the moment where you know the rest of the country is turning the lights off um yes it's all about blackpool but actually this year 
it's all about the heroes. It's about the people that you know have given everything to lead the fight against coronavirus and about the ordinary everyday heroes that, that gave everything that they could uh, to um, end the Second World War. And I think it's going to be it's going to be a real, you know, uh, different, very important, very sort of uh, step out, step out illumination season for everybody. And you mentioned earlier in your speech um, about legacy and heritage yeah. and how, you know, old favourites will be returning. At a time like this, how important is that, that people get that normality mm. back and they might see their old favourite illuminations on the program? I like to see myself as an old favourite. <laughs> I like to see myself as a legacy. No, I think I think this, this is one of the things that I've always worked very, very hard in the way that you know we curate the illuminations experience is to understand that um, you know it's not just about innovation. It's not just about the latest thing. Um, yes, technology is very important, and actually Blackpool was the home of technology. You know, 120 years ago, uh, just just lighting the streets with electricity was a, was a really, really out there thing to do. Um, but actually. Some of our tableaus, particularly things like the pirates, um, uh, things like fire and ice, you know, th these are these are very very important icons to people's experience of Blackpool. They're, they'll have photographs in the photograph albums of, of you know their grandparents, their parents in front of these tableaus. It's absolutely essential that they are still part of the experience. And this is one of the big jobs that we're doing with the Illuminations team now is, is to seek specific local sponsorship to keep those alive. And that's very successful. You know, you'd be amazed how many um, local businesses love that link, love that idea that they are perpetuating what is an incredibly important part of the Blackpool Illuminations experience.